Hey Ryan, my name's Dave. This is Custom Spray Mods. Now I've got this Navara and I've just painted the headlights. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pull your headlights apart, paint the insides and put them back together. I'm gonna do that now, check it out. So I bought this Navara new and when I bought it, it had chrome all over the car, like chrome revision mirrors, chrome grill, chrome fog light surrounds and door handles and everything. So I've been going through the process of blacking that out. I've been painting it black and uh, just trying to get it to look a bit better. So I've got a few videos on that. You can check them out. I'll put the links in the description. Now it was time to get rid of the chrome inside the headlights. So um, yeah, it just kind of annoyed me. Uh, I've got a nice black grill. The front end was nice and black, but the headlights were just blinding chrome. So I'm going to pull them apart, paint them black. And do that now, check it out. So the first thing you need to do is to take the headlights off the car. Now every car is different, but with this car, you need to remove the bumper bar so you can unbolt the headlights. Once the bumper bar is off, it's just a few 10mm bolts that will come straight off we can get started pulling them apart. Now we need to separate the headlight by melting the sealer. So before we start doing that, you need to remove these small screws that are holding the body onto the lens so that once it's melted, we're not wasting time removing those screws. To melt the sealer from the headlights, you need to put it in an oven at 100 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Now the headlights of the Navara are way too big for the oven, so I'm going to have to find a different way to melt that sealer. I've made an oven out of a cardboard box. Basically this cardboard box just fits the headlight. I've cut a hole in the box and a few holes at the back. Now I'm just going to use a heat gun on the medium setting and uh, heat that headlight up for 10 minutes then hopefully the seal will be melted enough for me to remove the headlight from the lens. I'm going to leave this for 10 minutes and make sure that the heat gun isn't pointed directly at any plastic parts because it could melt them if the, if the heat is concentrated on one area. I've also got a fire extinguisher just on the floor here. In case something happens, I can uh, put out that fire, but luckily it didn't catch fire and the process worked really well. Now it's time to remove the headlight from the lens and this is the hardest part of the job. It can be hot, uh, you get the uh, black butyl glue uh, that kind of is sticky and goes everywhere and if it's not melted properly it can be very difficult to get off. So all those things pretty much happened when I was doing this and uh, it made it very difficult to get that headlight removed. So if you have a bigger oven it is definitely the best way to go otherwise make sure that sealer is thoroughly melted because it'll make it a lot easier to remove the lens from the, uh, the body. Now all I have to do is undo a few screws and separate the part that I actually want to paint. So firstly I've taken a few clear lenses that are attached to this chrome part. So I've done that, I've got the, um, the one chrome part that I want to paint and I can start preparing it to start painting. I'm also going to paint the chrome that is around the projector. Now looking at this was pretty much impossible to remove so I'm just masking up around it so that paint doesn't go on the rest of the headlight. Then I can paint those chrome bits around the projector and the blinker. So hopefully you've watched my video on how to paint chrome parts and well this is a chrome part so we're going to use the exact same method. I'm just using grey scotch bright to scuff the surface, then I'll spray an adhesion promoter and I'll be ready for some paint. Now I've gone to get my colour and I've gone to VG Auto Paints. Now these guys are a paint shop that can pretty much mix any colour and pump it into an aerosol can. So this is a custom metallic black that I've, uh, I've had made up and uh, basically I'm just going to get it put into an aerosol can so that I can do the job. Uh, without using a spray gun. So it's basically the exact same paint that a spray painter would use but it's in an aerosol can. So yeah, it's going to be great for this job and uh, I've got a paint code and it's going to look awesome. So yeah, ready to go. Now I'm ready to start painting. Before I do, I'm going to clean the parts with wax and grease remover. Just spray on and wipe off. Now I can spray the adhesion promoter. Now this is great for chrome or a painted surface. It's going to basically help the paint stick and make sure it doesn't flake or, or come off there once it's already painted and dry. I've sprayed two coats of the primer. Now I'm going to spray three coats of the black base coat. I'm going to spray one light coat first 
then I'll get heavier with every coat after that. It's important to wait 10 minutes between coats to allow the paint to dry and uh, otherwise you'll get too much paint and solvent on that plastic product. Make sure you have really good attention to detail because once these are painted and sealed up again, it's very difficult to remove if you find you've missed uh, an area of paint. So make sure you get that paint on all the surface. For the projector and the blinker, I've used a clear base coat that's tinted 5% with black. So it's basically clear with a little bit of black in it. And that is to just tint that chrome so it's more of a black chrome, uh, just so it looks a little bit different to the rest of the parts inside the headlight. Uh, and yeah, uh, hopefully it looks pretty good. Now it's time for clear coat. Now you can use a 1K acrylic clear. I like to use 2K clear. So I've got 2K clear coat in this can. Uh, basically 2K means there's two parts. So most of those cans that are 2K uh, have an activator where you um, uh, activate the can and allows you to spray a two pack clear. I've got a video on that. So check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But the 1K clear is pretty good as well. So I've sprayed two coats of clear over these parts. Now I'm gonna let them dry overnight, then I can start assembling the light back together. Now I've let the clear dry overnight. They are nice and dry and strong. It's time to start putting them back together. I need to put a few of the lenses back onto the inner shell, then I can start screwing it down to the outer lens. Now I'm going to add some extra sealant to the headlights. This is a butyl type sealer, so it stays soft and it can be melted again in the future if I need to separate the headlights again. So I'm just going to put a bit of that uh, on the join, then I can start attaching the headlight back together. I'm going to heat up the sealer for about five minutes with the heat gun. That's just going to melt it again and allow me to basically attach the unit back together. I'm going to start by attaching all the clips back together first and then pressing it together as hard as possible and screwing the screws back in make sure it's sealed properly. Now all that's left to do is to put the headlights back on the car, attach the bumper bar and the front grille and basically your job is done. So we've gone from the standard chrome headlights that look something like this to now they're all blacked out and look like this. So yeah, I reckon it looks a lot better. gone through the whole process. I've pulled the headlights off the car, um, chucked them in a makeshift oven and melted the sealant around the, the headlights, pulled them apart, uh, unscrewed the inside plastics, uh, gave them a quick scuff and adhesion promoter, and I painted them with my custom metallic black. Um, I also painted uh, a tinted clear over the chrome bits in the middle over the projector and that gave it a black chrome look. Um, then I used some fresh sealer, sealed it all up and um, yeah, I've chucked them back on the car and they look pretty awesome. Now, yeah, I could have just gone and bought a set of headlights that um, were already black. The new Navara has actually come out with black headlights, but this had a metallic black finish to it and um, saved a bit of money, only took a few hours. And uh, yeah, it's a great little DIY project. So yeah, hope you liked it and I hope you can um, get your headlights done and make them look awesome. If you do, definitely send them to me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, at Custom Spray Mods. I'd love to see your work. 
and um, yeah, share the process. See you next time.